I'm back today with another video about this uh, Louis Vuitton zippy wallet situation. Like I said, this is my ride or die piece. This is definitely, well, this is my ride or die wallet. I would say as soon as this one gives out, which I've had this for probably seven or eight years now, I would definitely go and replace this wallet with this exact same wallet. Um, let's jump in the price of this wallet real quick. Um, at the Louis Vuitton Boutique, it's $830 and with tax in the great state of Texas, it's $898.47. On the pre-loved market right now, I found one on Fashion File for $650 and with tax, and then I didn't include shipping, but with tax, it would be $703.62, which makes it $194.85 savings to get it on the pre-loved market. Um, again, I got this one on the pre-loved market. I actually got it from Keeks Designer Handbags and you, I will link that below so that you can go and check it out. I also wanted to mention the dimensions of this piece. So it's a, it's a really decent size um, wallet and I figured having those dimensions might help you better visualize. So 7.75 inches across here, four inches tall and one inch wide. All right, so let me go ahead and jump into the features of this wallet. It has the gold, I believe it's gold plated hardware um, and it's got the Louis Vuitton insignia on it. This is Louis Vuitton there on both sides. It has this really smooth zipper that goes three-fourths of the way around. It's triple coated canvas so it's a really durable material and that's why it's lasted me so long already. So on the interior you'll see all of these pockets and slip pockets and credit card slots and whatnot and um, a coin pouch. So let's just jump right in. It has one, two, three, four, eight credit card slots on either side. And then behind those, you have these two areas where you ha you can put uh, receipts, cash if you wanted to, um, pictures I carry, pictures of my mom and dad when they were younger, my grandparents that I usually will slip into this slip pocket here. But I mean, this just carries rewards cards, whatnot. And then it has these uh, sections here as well that you can put anything you'd like there. It is large enough to carry a checkbook, so that does bulk it out a little bit more. Um, it has this coin coin purse area right here where you can keep coins. And then this slip pocket here is just so amazing. I mean, when I first saw this wallet, I thought, I don't even know if I could ever fill that up. And mm, I did, no problem. Mm, I did, no problem. No problem. But this wallet itself, I mean, this this zipper too is so smooth. It also has the LV uh, insignia on it, the monogram. <clears throat> and I'll just tell you what, this this wallet has been just, just an amazing piece. It's got that gusseted side area, so it does stretch out really far. Um, the wear of this piece has been just so phenomenal. Oh, I do see some stitches that have come loose over here. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but they're kind of loose slash missing right there. But I mean, it just hasn't, it hasn't affected the performance of this wallet. Um, the corners are worn just from going in and out of my purse there and there. You can see that the, the stitching has come out a little bit here and there. But I mean, overall, this piece has lasted me, like I said, seven, eight years. I haven't had any complaints about it. Um, I guess the only thing I would say, and this is why I got the compact version of it, is that it is, it is, it's a big wallet. I mean, it's a full size wallet. So you can carry a checkbook, you can carry money completely laid flat in one of these areas. Um, and you just, you don't have to worry about not being able to fit anything. I mean, I haven't been able to fit my keys in here. <laughs> So that's the one thing that, you know, you can't fit in here. And that's why I like the six key ring holder because I can carry all that in one little compact place if I don't need a whole lot with me. But with this being so large, you can't really fit it into like a lot of crossbody purses unless you have a really full size crossbody purse. Otherwise it's best to switch to, if you're gonna do a crossbody, a little bit smaller wallet, maybe a card holder, something of that sort so that you're not carrying this full size wallet and this would take up the entire, my entire uh, favorite MM purse by Louis Vuitton. I wouldn't have room to carry anything else, maybe a chapstick, but I wouldn't even be able to get my keys in there. Uh, regardless, 
This is just a favorite piece by Biden. and I would get it again. I will, I will link in the description box below a few pre-loved options I can find that are in um, pretty decent condition. Um, if I were to buy this again, I, I'm not sure if I would buy it pre-loved or buy it brand new. And the reason being is because I know it lasts so long. Um, <clears throat> so this one I've had, like I said, seven, eight years and I've had no, no issues with it other than the normal wear and tear of it. And, um, so I would maybe think about purchasing it new just so that I have a little bit more longevity with it. But otherwise, I mean, you're going to be putting the wear and tear on it anyway. So why not find one that's in really great or excellent condition and just put that wear and tear on something that somebody has already kind of taken that depreciation hit. Um, people talk about Louis Vuitton pieces being an investment and while they're not your traditional type of investment, you're not going to, um, you're probably not going to make money on a purchase. Um, it is something that really tends to hold its value. So any purses and stuff that I've sold prior, I have at least gotten back the money that I've put into it, if not a little bit more back when I've sold it. Now I do try to take care of my purses, but I don't baby them. Uh, same with my small other goods. I try to take care of all of my pieces. I've paid a lot of money for them. I wanna make sure that they are in the best condition they can be, um, but I will also, you know, sell them for what they're worth on the market at the time. Um, and I'm not gonna like just throw them around. I've spent too much money on them to do that. So I really, really love this piece. If you're looking to get a full size wallet, I would highly suggest the Zippy wallet, Louis Vuitton Zippy wallet. It does come in Damier Abin and I believe Damier Azur. Uh, they probably, I do believe they also have it in the emprunt leather and I will kind of, I will link all of that down below in the description box. Um, this one to me is just so classic. I love the LV monogram print on the small other goods. I think that they are just so, it's just so cute on them. Um, and the, the Damia Ben print used to be my absolute favorite top print. I have a, a, quite a few purses in that now and for some reason, and I still love it, but for some reason, the monogram print is really growing me. And even the Damier Azure, um, like I said in another video, I don't own any Azure pieces. I think that they are gorgeous. They have some like known issues that make me a little nervous to buy and get one. So I'm just trying to round out my collection and everywhere else before I start saving that fun money again for something that I don't necessarily know I'm gonna use or not. And that is one that I would go on the pre-love market for because I just don't know if I'm gonna carry it enough. So um, they're beautiful bags, they're beautiful wallets. They make, Louis Vuitton makes some gorgeous, gorgeous pieces and they have some really, really expensive leather pieces that I um, don't own because they are like very pricey and even on the pre love market, you're going to be paying a real pretty penny for. So I kind of try to stay away from that, but I'll try to put some um, shots of this this wallet down uh, at the end of this video, like some mod shots of just the wallet so you can see more of the details of it since I can't really capture that on my camera right now. But um, if you own a Louis Vuitton small leather good or any small leather good, any wallet that you have, go ahead and comment in the section, comment section below and let me know what that wallet is, um, brand or non-brand, luxury or non-luxury. Just let me know what it is, what you like about it and why, and that way I can kind of look into those and see if I need to expand my collection more. My husband says thank you. <laughs> uh, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video below, leave that comment below of your you know, favorite piece and uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post up new content. Thank you guys, have a beautiful day, bye. At the Louis Vuitton Boutique, it's $830. But let's jump into the price. Hi everybody, What's I'm back today with another video on some luxury goods. Let's talk about this zip, uh, zippy wallet situation we have going on. I love this one. And it is the monogram canvas wallet, so it's triple coated canvas. Um, really, really durable. 
type of <clears throat> material. options for you to, 